Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Fat Buddha Fitness. I am Chester Monkey Magic and we are into week two of the seven week challenge. I hope you've been doing it along with me. What is the challenge? It is pull-ups, press-ups and sit-ups. The aim is to get to 50 pull-ups, 100 press-ups and 300 sit-ups at the end of the seven weeks. So, I've been doing mine all throughout the week. I hope you've been doing the same thing. I'm now going to start week two. Come and join me and let's see how we're all getting along together. At the start of week one, I managed 13 pull-ups in one go without stopping. So, let's see if my week of training has allowed me to progress. No, it didn't. 13 and a half. Still haven't made it past 13, up to 14 yet. But never mind, we're on to week two. We're going to progress a lot quicker now. On to part two, the press-ups. Now, last time, if you remember, I did 41. Failed to increase the pull-ups. It's not a great start. Let's see if I made better progress on the press-ups. Forty-four. So, tiny amount of progress, but nonetheless, progress it is. Next up, sit-ups. Last time I did 37, so let's see if we can beat that this time. Thank <sighs> you. 
47. So, much better improvement on that than on the other ones, particularly the pull-ups. Uh, but that's to be expected, because your sit-ups really, as you're aiming to get 300, it's the ones you should definitely be doing the most of. This being week two, we're doing two sets of every exercise. So once again, it's maximum reps, and obviously don't expect to do as many on the second set as you did on the first. Only 10 that time, but that's the way it goes. So, second set of press ups. As you can hear, I'm starting to get tired. Twenty-five, huge drop off there, but as you go further into it, keep the gaps short, the rest times short, and uh, bang them out, and you will will find that the drop off can be fairly dramatic. Right, on to the second set of sit-ups. Let's start that one again. Oh, right, one. Twenty. Bloody hopeless. So that is the start of week two. Quick reminder of how it works. Basically, you're going to do this three times a week. I suggest Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Week one, it's one set of the three exercises. Week two, like we've just done just now, two sets. And in every single occasion, it's just maximum number of reps that you can possibly do for you can't do any more. Keep the break between the exercises shortish, between the sets as well, and just do the maximum number you can. And on top of those three sessions a week, I also suggest, perhaps on a Saturday, not a Sunday, because you want to have two days rest between sessions, and preferably, uh, particularly before the first session of the week, because that's the one where we're testing ourselves and counting the numbers. So on a Saturday, if you can, do an all-over body workout that's a bit longer, maybe something like half an hour, 45 minutes, something in that region that does a greater range of muscle groups as well to really work your body hard. But also, whilst we're on these low sets, one in week one and two in week two, don't think that because you've done this five minutes of exercise that you can't do something else as well during the day. This is just part of a seven-week challenge that is on top of 
everything else you might be doing. For example, yesterday I played rugby, tomorrow I'll play rugby again, today I was going to play five-side football but it got cancelled at the last minute, but I'm keeping going my regular routine despite adding this to it. So that's all from me, Chester Monkey Magic, here on Fat Water Fitness this week two of the seven week pull up, press up, sit up challenge. Until next time, Amit Waffle.